I feel like everything came full circle. Eldest and Grievel redeemed themselves, and Ardos, well... I am so sad that they never ever revisited this plotline. Uh, don't remind me. Anyway, just like any other Pokemon adventure, we are back in our room at the end of our journey, and we get an email! Egan! Dear Michael, I have I have heard that you returned from Citadel Isle. Yeah, I kind of visited you last time I did that as well, because I kind of went back to nickname my Dodrio. I send this message as an invitation to the Ore Coliseum. I'll be arriving shortly to ask you in per- The email is cut off. No! I didn't know that the email cut off, even though it's like the fifth time he's done it. You didn't need to tell- You totally needed to tell me that. No, I thought he was going to ask me in per, as in the person per, that we met over at ONBS. Yeah. Jovi, I never thought I'd be happy to see you. I guess you can say I'm really jovial to see you. <laughs> Big brother, there's an old man with a really long beard standing outside. When Jovi asked, he let Jovi touch the beard. When Jovi tugged it, he said it hurt. It must be real. <laughs> okay, that's legitimately kind of funny. I gotta say, I'm really glad that Jovi was just kind of confined to the beginning, though, because, you know, she's kind of fun to see every once in a while, though, but I thought she was just going to be annoying throughout the entire adventure. I'm really glad that she wasn't. What do you have to say? Ah, uh, Michael, welcome back. You're quite the hero. Everyone says so about you. Be sure to show your face to Lily every so often. Though she won't say to you, she is a mother. <gasps> Even though she doesn't tell me she's my mom, she really is my mom? Of course she's worried about you. Okay, I'll stop making starky remarks. It really is nice to be back here at the Pokemon HQ lab. Now, let me see what the party's looking like. Everyone is level 50 or 51, just as they were last time. I think I'm going to switch Billy Bob to the front here. Uh, I do have to say, that final battle, Jinzo wrecked Grievel. Like, man, he was useful. Um, Volterra was pretty good, uh, Mustache saw a little bit of use though, but I'm really sad that Billy Bob and especially Zangoose and, um, Dodrio saw, like, no use during the final I didn't even get to send out Zangoose, Dodrio, or Aggron, I don't think, though, but, you know, ah, well, it's kind of a shame that I didn't get to use them, though, but still, you know, aside from Dodrio, I think they all proved their use well. Hey, what's up? Michael, have you read that email I sent you? Uh, I kind of couldn't read it. Oh, well, now that's odd. Perhaps I made a mistake when I sent the email in a panic. Well, that's not important. I was inspired by your battle exploits, Michael, you see. It made me want to have a battle with you. That said, Michael, there are countless trainers that would be honored to battle with Cypher's nemesis. I therefore decided to take charge and organize a Coliseum event. Impressed? Before we talk, we must battle, you and I, on guard! Never heard on guard used for a Pokemon battle cry before. That is awesome, yes! We get to fight Egan. He had a level 13 Pikachu and battled them last time. Once again, this time, Pichu and Pichu! Really? You give me a trainer with seven Pokemon and four legendaries, and my next battle is against two Pichus. Well, either way, they have level 45 electro type static at all. Volt Tackle, Thunder, Rain Dance, and Thunderbolt. So, exact same moveset as those Pichus. Um, I got Billy Bob just kind of wrecking everything right now because he's got Earthquake on our side, so, you know, I can't think of any better setup for this battle. I got something with Levitate. I probably would have sent out Dodrio for this, though, but didn't want to be weak to those electro types, of course. Alright, so, what do you got next? Come on, stop getting experience, give me this. Okay, sending out another Pikachu, it is exactly the same as the last one, so I don't feel it's necessary for me to go over it, but... Next up is Raichu! Level 55, electric type, static for its ability, Volt Tackle, Thunder, Rain Dance, and Brick Break. Kinda interesting, I suppose. It's not really the greatest thing in the world. Wow, it's actually faster, holy crap! I mean, I know Raichu's... Why did you not attack Billy Bob?! I know Billy Bob's got, like, stupid high defense, though, but it's still a quad weakness! Why would you attack Junzo? I don't know. Either way, Jinzo should take out Pikachu in one shot. No problem at all. And now, what is his last Pokemon? Why, I think you're beginning to see the pattern here. His last Pokemon is a Raichu, identical to the other Raichu he sent out. Yeah! So much for being a once really great trainer. I mean, I thought that, you know, the point was to balance out your team so you didn't have common weaknesses, says the guy who has three of his Pokemon weak to fighting. But, you know, I think I justified that. But you know what I mean, like, his whole team is pure Electric type, and while Electric is a great type, only weak to ground, it's just that... Dude, having all these electric types in double battles is just... You were just asking for me to beat you in three turns, which is exactly what I did. Alright, Egan, what have you to say for yourself? Oh, I knew it, but bravo! I repeat, bravo! I knew it was such a rich old man. 5,500 is not bad. It's no wonder Cypher has their eyes on you. I must say, I enjoyed myself tremendously. I'm sure that the trainers who have gathered at the Ore Coliseum will be delighted to face you. Please, we'd very much like you to come. Yep, we have a whole new area out in the middle of the desert. You thought we were done exploring the Ore region. Nope! The toughest trainers in the land have gathered with you as, their, as, the, with you as the goal, Michael. We're we waiting for you. I'm not going to make any promises at all that I can do this, but... You do need to beat at least one four battle challenge in Ore Coliseum to further what goes on in the after game. So, oh, he's folding his arms at us. 
Don't put me to sleep with a boring battle. Okay, this guy... Greel. Is he like an awkward cousin of Greevil? <laughs> anyway, Greel here, I, I can't lose to him though because you know when he beats you, he's gonna be one of those trainers that has like an absolutely rude thing to say to you when you lose. Uh, anyway. Unfortunately, they do not have any of their grass types. I was hoping that he'd choose Parasect or Breloom so that I could take advantage of the Quad Wings as a trifecta there, but of course not. Uh, I need to get rid of that Gardevoir as soon as possible, and... Yeah, I'll target Gardevoir, and... Oh, come on! Oh, it didn't attack trifecta. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I am cutting ahead here because I beat one Pokemon in the first round before losing the first battle. Yeah, um... So I'm gonna need to go train up. It's not fair to say that uh, all this time was spent training because I was also purifying Shadow Pokemon, but in total, my playtime is 8 hours and 15 minutes higher than when I first attempted this when I was like level 51. Yeah. So whoever thought this was a good way to start the after game, I will never ever understand you, just saying, because why would you make this the very first thing you have to do? The final match, and just who is the champion of this Coliseum that has put us through so much misery and grinding? Loverina! None other than the so oh so terrifying Terra herself, yes. What does she have to say? Well, what a coincidence. Imagine seeing you. This time I'm not losing, though. She didn't say so once. I am so disappointed. Anyway, Lavrina. As, as is all the other opponents that you'll face here, her team varies. It can be level 60 to 100. She can also start off with different Pokemon. In this case, she is starting off with Wobbuffet, Psychic type, Shadow Tag for its ability, Lumberry for a hold item, Charm Counter, Encore, and Mirror Coat. As well as Misdreavus, of course she picks that one. I'm basically just going to be attempting to take out the Misdreavus first and foremost. Of course it uses Protect, so I shouldn't be all that surprised there. So I'm wasting both of my attacks this turn. I just, the thing is that, that because that Wobbuffet cannot harm me until I attack it first, I just kind of want to leave Wobbuffet there and just kind of only deal with one Pokemon at a time. The fact that I only have to worry about one Pokemon at once uh, makes it a lot nicer. Granted, I lose my ability to switch by keeping Wobbuffet on the field into Shadow Tag, but... I just kind of feel like it's a lot nicer to deal with one Pokemon that can do damage each turn, or in this case also confuse. So that's just kind of what I feel. Misdreavus doesn't have any direct damaging moves, it's just kind of there as a staller, and Wobbuffet doesn't have any direct damaging moves, so pretty much this is just a whenever I get in an attack, Misdreavus will go down. Like right now. Oh come on! Ah, oh, I was gonna be so smug and you ruin it! Ah. Oh. Alright, well. Needless to say, with the Staller on the field and a Pokemon like Wobbuffet on the field, this could take a while. So I'll see you guys in a little bit until I get a hit, because he's totally doing Protect the Surf. After Iron Tail missed about a dozen times, I end up beating Miss Drevas with Ancient Power. Yeah, really, really nice. Anyway, next Pokemon, Milotic. Water-type, Marvel Scale for its ability. Lacks Incense for Hold Item. Toxic, Attract, Confuse Rate, and Wrap. Once again, not really a damaging Pokemon. Toxic is, of course, a fantastic move, and Attract, Confuse Rate is kind of an evil combo, especially with Wobbuffet on the field preventing you from switching. But its only direct damaging move is Wrap, and that's not really good. I was kind of expecting this thing to at least have Hydro Pump or something like that, but again, kind of a lame moveset. I mean, I guess Ms. Dreamus did its job well enough as a staller, but I don't know. I'm just going to use Explosion right here because, well, it's fun to go boom! Uh oh crap. Um, I didn't think Wobbuffet was going to live. Uh, that's a problem. I should have had Billy Bob attack and not do protect. Uh, Billy Bob would not have taken much damage from the explosion because he quad resists and he has high defense and uh, that's not good. Okay, well, there is a very, very real possibility that I could set up Mustache into this and Wobbuffet will counter the explosion, in which case I'm losing my Walrein. Alright, Confuse Ray, please attack Walrein, please. Please Walrein. Walrein. Good, okay. So, let's see, I'm not too... Here it comes! Here it comes! Yep, 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 uh... Uh, I really should have attacked Wobbuffet that turn. I don't know, I, I forget if Aggron is faster than Wobbuffet in this instance though, but... Uh, that, that was bad. Alright, so I'm down to my last two Pokemon and she has still got three of hers, that's bad, but... But, look at that, there we go. I made a mistake by not having Billy Bob attack Wobbuffet, but still worked out okay for me. There you go, droop your hair on the floor, Lavrina. Drag it along the floor as you mope out of this arena! I want you to feel the misery that I felt training for eight hours! Uh. Alright, so we get Pokecoupons at 500! 
I get more than that for Area 1 in the freaking Mount Battle! Cheapskate!